Well, guys, today needs to be the day we turn around our poor form. We have two huge matches against Spurs and Liverpool, and it could be what the rest of our season hinges upon. If you are new to the series and the channel, this is our FM22 journeyman where we are attempting to go from non-league football to winning the Champions League. This is our third club in the save. We are at Man City and we are not the Man City that is the one that we know and maybe love or maybe hate in real life we are a man city that's going through a process of rebuild and as we can see we are six in the league since you were last with me we've just played the two matches off camera we've had a three nil win against sunderland they were down in 19th we went on the attack straight away and pretty much battered them on match stats and then we've played uh dunstrada if that's how we say their name in the europa league um, beating them 6-0 which is going to mean we finish top of our group with 16 points and 26 goal difference <laughs> us and Hertha Berlin are going to be going through but today as we said we are going to be facing Spurs who are fourth in the league and Liverpool who are second in the league we could close the gap on them a little bit but we're going to have to be in some very very good form and for those of you who have been watching we have not exactly been in very good form i think i am going to actually listen to that and drop back to balance um this is the lineup we're going to use for our first match which is against tottenham hosper we've got edison in goal back four of mendes vakovic diaz and alexander arnold and as i'm looking at that i'm like is there anyone better than vakovic not really upa mckenno is not fit so that is probably the best we've got maybe that's where we suffer a little bit because we're having to play malacio as we can see as the deep line playmaker we've then got rice and foden in front of him damsgaard over on the left saka on the right and adiemi up front and this is still where we suffer a little bit it's like for kovic he is decent he's a free star defender to be fair he's not awful by any stretch of the imagination I just don't think he's maybe a player you can bring in and be playing against the likes of of your your Spurs, your Liverpool, your Manchester United, Chelsea, those bigger clubs. It's the Premier League. You just can't do that. Of course, if you do enjoy today's episode, please do drop a like down below. It does really, really help out with the YouTube algorithm. Spurs going straight on the attack and not letting me get my spiel out today. And if you are new to the channel, just haven't done it yet and are interested in the series, please do hit the subscribe button to follow along with all of the daily videos on the channel. Spurs, as I mentioned straight on the attack harry kane's still at the club even though we are well well in the future and we are two minutes in and jude bellingham has just put one past us what universe is this it is definitely not 2022 in this football manager universe tottenham hosper have just put one past city and jude bellingham is the man to do it are oh, sentences that should absolutely never ever ever be said it makes no sense whatsoever. We encourage the team. We'll have a look at what we do for the first sort of 20, 25 minutes of the match. And we'll see if we need to make adjustments. But that is the worst possible start we could have got off to in this episode. And I am starting very much to fear for my job in this save. I don't think that Manchester City is the club we win the Champions League with. Just because I don't think I'm going to have enough time to do it. I genuinely think this is going to be a high you've been fired scenario. We're going to go to positive though. We're going to demand more from the team. And we do hopefully then go and do something against Spurs. Because we're not really doing a lot at the moment. Alexander Arnold playing a very, very long ball forward. Which has gone to no one. And Spurs are through on goal again. Mendes has managed to get rid of that one. And Saka is looking like he's picked up a knock apparently. We'll just keep an eye on that for the next few minutes. But he does look like he's sort of coming back to a reasonable fitness level. So can probably keep playing for the moment. Ruben... Ruben, Ruben Diaz. I was going to say Ruben Neves again. I'm going to have to sign Ruben Neves. Apparently, my uh, my brain wants it. 
crossing that one into Damsgaard for him to get his head to but not on target and we are still going to be searching for that first goal here against Spurs Alexander Arnold we did tell him to ease off tackles I believe we did the last thing we are going to want here is a red card to add to our woes we encourage the team a little bit more once again though we see a highlight starting with Spurs on the ball and in our half, which is not exactly what we want. Damsgaard coming back there, though. Putting in some good defensive duties to regain possession. Malacio and Foden. Foden with an absolutely awfully timed misplaced pass, though. Letting Spurs in. They have fluffed their lines. They haven't scored there. We have been a little bit let off on that one. And Foden, not the man that you would think, would be the one misplacing passes like that and letting Spurs in. But he was the man to do it. We are currently in seventh place. That is absolutely not good enough. And the fact we're losing to Spurs is doing my head in. Raheem Sterling, um, you can come on the pitch. We're going to swap... You and Damsgaard around because Damsgaard is good with both feet. So he's perfectly capable of playing over on the opposite side to where he normally plays. Edison distributing this one short to Ruben Diaz who is going to come ploughing forward. But again, overworking himself, just overexposing himself. And Bellingham is going to nick the ball off him. And then we do almost concede another one. Has Ruben Diaz got like dribble moron that I don't know about? What is it with Ruben Diaz that causes him... Is it to take more risk because he's a ball playing defender? If I change him... Okay, so if I change you to a central defender and keep you on a st stopper, maybe you'll stop running up the pitch like a madman. Because it's fantastic when it works. The problem is when it doesn't work, it does stuff like that, which is let them... Um, like expose us to a counter-attack like it did there, which when you're already 1-0 down, not exactly what you want. Again, absolutely fantastic when it does come off. Uh, then it allows us to go on the attack really, really quickly. Like this, Adiemi through Foden. Oh, no one able to actually get a shot past the Spurs defenders there. That was really, really unfortunate. Another massive, massive chance goes begging. We have regained possession here, though. Mendes through to Rice. Foden now playing it in front of Adiemi. Adiemi absolutely skies it question mark no it has been saved we'll let him off a little bit more than we would have done if he just skied that Foden into the near post that one's been cleared it's back to Foden again for a second crack here he has crossed it and the highlights just ended so I, I can only assume we did absolutely nothing at all with that cross there and it was just cleared by the Spurs defenders Spurs are just toying with us here and Van den Berg, who we sold last season, um, very, very happy here. I'd imagine to be keeping a clean sheet against us currently. We are a lot less happy about the, uh, the situation in hand. Bellingham spraying that one out wide. Is that Max Ahrens, I'm assuming, bringing this one forward here for Spurs? And they are in the box. Bellingham has just put his second pass on us. Oh, we are, we're going to get fired, aren't we? Who should our next club be? Let me know down in the comments below who should our next club be in the save because we are going to be job searching very, very soon. I cannot see us being Manchester City manager for very much longer. And honestly, at this point, um, we probably don't deserve to be. We are definitely out of debt. We've tried to build a squad. We're not going to be able to build it quick enough, I don't think. And the fact that, like, every, we, we can't beat the big teams. We struggle occasionally against the smaller teams. So when we play, like, a West Ham, we are 18th and we're dropping points. That's less than ideal in itself. Let's bring Sterling over here. Let's bring Isaac on over there, I think. Actually, no, let's just keep them that way around. And we can make one more substitution. Uh, Mendy's to come off. Lamperty to come on. I guess that's the only one that makes sense. And I think we're going to have to go attacking here. I don't think we are going to get anything out of the match here. But we've got to go and try at least. Um, we struggled against the lower sort of end of the table team. So we've recently lost to, I think it was West Ham who were 18th. Or it might have been Villa. It was one of those two that were 18th. And we've lost to them. But then we also struggle against the big teams. We tend to do all right against the team sort of in the middle. But, the, yeah, we then struggle against the smaller teams and the bigger teams. And Spurs have now put a third past us. And, oh dear, 
we are definitely, definitely going to be looking for a job. This is traumatic. The fact that Spurs have now put three past us and we haven't even remotely looked like scoring is very, very concerning. I mean, we have got, you know, we've got some European success we could look towards. We could bring the, uh, the Europa League, which I think if you're Manchester City, the Europa League is kind of, a, I don't want to say beneath you, but you're trying to win the Champions League for the first time. Um, the Europa League, not really the European trophy that we're worried about here. Not one that I think most Manchester City fans would give to about, um, if we're completely honest. And, you know, if we're going to be this bad in the league as well. No real European success. Awful in the league. Oh my God, we're 4-0 down. Maybe the referee will save us here and it'll go back to VAR and it will actually only be 3-0. No, the goal's been rotted. Oh, no. Oh, we're 4-0 down to Spurs. I mean, what do you even do here? We don't watch the replays. Bollocks to the replays. I'm not watching this. I can't bring myself to watch us getting obliterated by Spurs. I'm not even I'm not even a Man City fan, but I'm even less of a Spurs fan and I cannot bear to see us just getting battered by Spurs here. It's just ridiculous. Can we, can we at least score a goal? Foden into Ruben Diaz into Declan Rice. Declan Rice is going to get one at the near post or the far post. I think that actually ended up being uh, it's a consolation goal. Nothing else. Foden into Ruben Diaz. Yeah, Rice at the far post to tap that one home. It is a consolation goal. Alexander Arnold's got a 5.9 rating. He's now got a 6, admittedly, but he's got an awful rating. I mean, what do we do here? We can try and add some new, like, players in January. I don't think we kind of want to be changing formation again because we've kind of... The only other one we can really play is 4 2 3 one, and we've kind of seen that doesn't really work very well with Man City. I don't think it works globally against the bigger teams in the Premier League. But equally, a 4-3-3 is not really doing a lot either. So where do we go from here? Where do we go? Uh, I know I said this was a Manchester City rebuild. But every, every time it looks like we've sort of turned a corner, we come and do this stuff. I mean, it's a ball forward to Adiemi. Can we pick up a second? We are going to pick up a second. We've finally woken up. The team has finally decided to wake up in this game and score some goals. Unfortunately, it's all within the last sort of five to ten minutes of the game. And it's a little bit late, guys, because you've already conceded four against Spurs. There's no point scoring now. You haven't got enough time to go and score two more. It, it doesn't matter. You're not look, you're not saving yourself. You're going to go in the dressing room and you're going to get told that your performance was awful. And there's nothing you can do about that. I am not looking forward to facing the board after this. I've got a meeting with them tomorrow. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was joking. Oh, no. Attend the meeting. We gotta go attend a meeting. We're not happy with your current performance and I can see your position at club. We'd like to know why you feel the team performed so badly. I mean, we've played really well. We recognise the form table doesn't always show well the team is playing, so we're prepared to give you the benefit of the doubt, but we're keeping a closer eye. Oh no. Oh no. Oh I mm, I feel like we are very possibly getting fired. Oh, this guy's caught cool. it's 83 million. Everyone's so expensive. Um, we've got to face Liverpool in the Carabao Cup. And then we're going to come back for Liverpool in the Premier League on the 18th of December, which is a week's time from now. I would be surprised if we're not sacked before Christmas. Let's see you over the Liverpool game. <laughs> so all is not lost. We did just beat Liverpool 3-2 in the Carabao Cup, which probably means we're about to go and get absolutely obliterated in the league but we have beaten them goals from mariba from silver and alexander isaac I actually ended up rotating the team and then we've won although they definitely didn't look like they had a full strength side out also apparently we love just playing the same teams over and over again because we've now drawn arsenal in the semi-final of the Cabo cup so we played them three times in a week and a half with just a visit to blackpool in the fa cup third round in the middle 
why not we just want to see arsenal over and over again we can have an entire episode where it is literally just us against arsenal maybe that's what we'll do on next episode just arsenal over and over again for the absolute laughs why not we'll just splice together all the highlights into one big 270 minute match aggregate score anyway match against liverpool in the league here and we do really really need a win here we really really need to turn our form around before we get fired otherwise we won't be playing those matches against liverpool against liverpool against arsenal you're on top of the league actually so that's not going to be an easy game either they are running away with the league as it stands um yeah we won't be playing them unless we start winning matches and we probably do need to at least get a draw at least one point here out of liverpool getting one point and at least that might start to turn our form around if we get three points we draw ourselves within two points of second place liverpool and it all starts looking just that little bit better again is it three points two points we draw ourselves closer to liverpool and it all looks a tiny bit better right now um it doesn't look very very good we have in between sort of matches had our lovely team meeting and said guys don't let your heads drop come on we're better than this and ironically if you look at our player form like there's so many players who are green where they've had a really really good games but we just concede stupid stupid goals and we don't put enough goals away and yeah then we just get absolutely thumped by spurs because why wouldn't you but then we'll beat liverpool 3-2 in the cup and we've just conceded against liverpool what is wrong with us do we need to drop deeper do we need to press higher what do we need to do here i mean out of possession let's just put the defensive width to normal let's get a lower line and maybe we stop trying to counter press maybe we regroup maybe that's what we need to be doing i'm very aware there was a highlight coming in i'm fiddling with my tactics but equally this is so frustrating and I don't think there's any way we actually get to those matches against Arsenal. I would be... I mean, if we lose this match, we get pulled into the board again. And it will very much be a... How many games can we have before we get fired? Do we get a chance to save our job? Foden with a corner here. Trying to help us do just that though. Mariba at the far post. Not managing to make anything of that chance. Alexander Isaac though having nothing there not having that counter attack from liverpool just straight up bar and robinson come through fantastic play from isaac there that's what we want to see he's just gone no we're in bad form you know what you've had one goal you're not having another one that's enough lad mendy's over to silver we should be as well with this front fee isaac fabio silva and adiemi is our front three we should be absolutely destroying defences. I don't care that it's Liverpool and they've got Van Dijk and Sulayer. We should be absolutely decimating their defence. There's no reason for us not to be. The strike power in those three is ridiculous. And yet, and yet, we're not managing to score. We're not managing to break down Liverpool in this match. Lamptey's got yellow card to sell him to ease off tackles before we get to half time. We aren't managing to break them down. And this is half the problem as well. Maybe we need maybe we need like what have we got? So we've not not any playmaker here. Maybe Foden. Maybe if you change Foden and making him advanced playmaker, which does drop him a little bit deeper. I know that now means we're playing with two playmakers. But maybe rather than Mazzala, we put him into a playmaker and he starts spraying those balls. So I think he's actually got the most assists in the side as a Mazzala. So maybe putting him as a playmaker will at least allow him to pass those balls to those sort of front three players that will be running about trying to score. Maybe that's what's missing. And in which case we change Declan Rice or whoever's in the defensive midfielder position long term that was from Foden so that's worked pretty much straight away Foden over to Lamperty that long ball forward maybe that's exactly what we need to get Foden into a playmaker role rather than into a Mazzala attacking role I think maybe that will be where he has a little bit more clout on the game 
he's able to get a little bit more involved and sort of dictate proceedings so perhaps that's what we try moving forward assuming we get given the time to try it now um we could bring on sterling here we can bring on amada we can bring on duffy winterbottom we'll bring on duffy winterbottom at this point isaac's not having a brilliant game either uh neither is mendy's but we don't really have anyone to bring on for him i mean may as well bring on Bo bovu luzel bovu zelutier at this point because we are losing one nil and mendy's isn't doing a lot our team that we have been playing not really doing a lot so why not bring on the young guns see if they can do everything maybe they've got a bit more hunger a bit more desire willing to uh, go out there and try and fight for their spot because obviously you know maybe the likes of mendy's and things are looking behind him again just no one really to overtake me so why would i bother playing any more than i am any better than i am because i'm gonna start anyway i'm getting paid my way i don't know i don't know if football manager <laughs> avatars think like that it seems unlikely i don't remember being a highlight in this half either apart from that one from foden um literally nothing going on and now we have got one it is for liverpool it is tonali edison not managing to actually keep hold of that ball he has obviously pushed it away we haven't conceded but we are going to lose i think this is now our third match in a row on the channel it is all gone very very wrong i mean we're saying unlucky but realistically guys can we start actually playing some football the board are bound to be putting us back in here yeah board request meeting discuss the manager's future Let's attend the meeting for the second time in this episode. I'm not happy with current performance against senior position at the club. We had a difficult run of games recently. Enough excuses. How are you going to improve this situation? The last thing the club needs is more upheaval. We are sorry that it's come to this. We have no other choice but to fire you. We'd rather didn't have to come to this, but we wish you all the best for the future. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Oh no. So... no longer a man city then we were not there very long we struggled to repeat those previous glories they they have been out of the european positions for two seasons and i don't feel like that is entirely our fault having a look now though we've got to turn our eyes to um what jobs can we go to who can we go to who have we got available brighton in the premier league but they are rock bottom so i'd rather not chelsea are, yeah West Ham, again, not doing fantastic. We've got Espanyol, Villarreal, FC Köln, which I do like just because they've got a goat. Well, we've got to go and actually find a club now to go and work for. That was not the end of the episode that I was wanting it to be. Well, if you have enjoyed that and my misery, please do drop a like down below. We've obviously based on first sacking on the channel we have not managed to rebuild man city and we have now got to go find ourselves another job which we will look at doing in tomorrow's episode if you do want to see who we do end up managing as of tomorrow then please do hit the subscribe button as well and the notification bell and then youtube will let you know as soon as we upload and you can come along and see who we manage to uh, to go and manage until then guys thank you very much for watching i'll see you on tomorrow's episode bye bye <laughs>